Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, how to set up a launch configuration so that v Visual Studio Code uh, can execute your Flask application so you can be debugged. Uh, you can break through it and uh, look at various values of variables using a debugger. Uh, so inside Visual Studio Code, if you go into your debug mode, you'll find a section right here that says no configurations. Inside your folder, inside your project, you can hit add uh, configuration. So that will create a file called launch.json, which will give you some default um, profiles for launching a debugger. Uh, the one that we're going to be concerned about is the Flask one. So we can actually delete all the others for now. And I'm just going to uh, delete those, and I'm going to delete the one at the end of it. So I can save that, and I get a Python Flask. For this example, I'm going to rename this configuration um, Flask Demo 10 uh, Launch. And this will launch a Flask application. It's going to point at uh, app.py in the, uh, this is a relative path within your directory structure. So if I look in here, I can find fl10model.py. So all I have to do here is change this to fl10model.py, and that will execute a run. Um, it does turn off the debugger and the reload within Flask. Uh, that allows Visual Studio to utilize its debugger uh, to handle putting in breakpoints and, and whatnot. So if we go into our example application, now when I go to my debug, and I hit launch, we'll see that Flask is going to launch. It's going to launch within the virtual environment that I have selected for my space. And I can go to a localhost 5000 here. And you can see that I'm broken in here. I can see my variables and I can resume and it will return hello world exclamation point. Um, all right, so that is how we set up uh, just a default, hey, let's run Flask as a web application server. However, often we're not just running Flask with um, an application server. There, Flask also has the capability to assign uh, command line operations and it can be convenient to set up a launch configuration for those. So in this case, I have an NDB controller that will map. So I can go back to the launch configuration here, and I'm just gonna copy this launch one and put in a second one. But now instead of running run, which is the operation for Flask, I'm gonna maintain that I'm using fl10model.py, but I'm gonna change that run to the name of the command that I want to run here. So in this case, initdb. So now if I change that to initdb and I delete these arguments, save that, um, I can now look and I have two. Oh, the names are confusing. So let's change the name there to init. And I can select init and hit execute. And we'll see in the output here that it's going to execute the init and it initialize the database appropriately. Uh, so in this way, you can add not just a uh, configuration to run Flask as a web application, but you can also add a configuration to run command line arguments that you've defined within Flask.